Hey beautiful ladies, today, today is a all-in-one palette and it's called Whoosh. It's a travel palette or it's, let's just get ready and get our tushes out the door. It's just compact, it's ready. Few things you need to add to make it complete, which is mascara, brows, and lips, but the rest is there. So without further ado, wackadoo, let's get to it. What's in the palette, you say? The Woosh palette, very, very uh, shimmery. It might change the color of my skin. When you open it, you're gonna get this side first. And that is the foundations. There's two different colors, a lighter and a little darker. This palette is in medium. Then you have a pink blush and kind of a peachy blush and then a highlighter, okay? Very glimmery. Then you open up the other side, which is like a soap. In case you've never seen this palette before, you have your contours. You have your concealer and perfectors. They have a little plastic sheet that goes over to protect it from your eyeshadows up here. Those are the eyeshadows. It's supposed to be excellent for mature skin. It has nothing in it that you don't need. It has vitamin E. It has vitamin C. It's made for mature skin. So let's get started with the application. Okie dokie artichokey. All right, now Woosh comes with a fold out face instructions. Now they, tell you to start with the eyes and then the perfector, contour, blush, and then the foundation. Well, I don't follow these steps. I do it a little bit different for my look, so it doesn't matter, but this will help you get to know your palette. I am going to go in with the first product from my Woosh. <laughs> I'm going to go in with the perfectors right here. Conceal and perfector. So I'm going to take my one of my Jessup brushes for concealer, and I'm gonna go in right down the middle of the two, and I'm gonna go over, oops, my imperfections. From my laser treatment, you know, a lot of my discoloration is deep from years and years and years of sun damage. I like how creamy it is. This is a cream. Got a red nose, but I didn't put any uh, color correcting primer on my nose. I'll go with the lighter down the center. And I have a damp sponge. So I'm going to use that to blend their color corrector. I'll do under the eyes and I'm going to take another little of my Jessup blush and I'm going to take it in the lighter concealer. My eyes are all prepped underneath. We are. I'll have to clean up again once I do my eyes, I'm sure. Maybe not. All right, all right, ladies. Cucaracha, la cucaracha. Okay, sorry. I just had to let out my inner song. <laughs> That's my song for today. Oh, all whitey, all whitey. To do the contour, and I'm gonna take the dark here with my little BK 109. Dip, 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 and we'll just make this quick. Oh, it's a pretty color. Oh, look at that. Nice and subtle. And I got to show you, <laughs> I got to show you something I saw on Tic Tac. Tic Tac, Ticky Tacky. You've probably seen it, but I just thought I have to try it. Are you ready? You take tweezers. Probably not this pointy, but that's all the only ones I have. And then you're going to put it on your schnoz. <laughs> Maybe down. You need to have it down so that you can line her. Oh my gosh, that thing is so tight. I'm going to take my little schnoz. <laughs> I don't know, ladies. Do you see anything? The feeling is so bizarre. All right. And then you're supposed to blend it with it on. And what I do, go into the lighter contour and go down my nose. And ready? Did that do, did that work better than how I do it normally? I think it's just, I think it's just a technique to make you look silly. I don't know, ladies. I just wanted to show you that, though. Oh, it wrecks havoc with your nose. All right, and on we go. Now I'm gonna take 
the lighter of the contour. I'm going to take that little pointy brush again and I'm going to dip in there and I'm going to go like right here. I'm going to go right under my eyes to do a little highlighting. Okay. Exterior illumination. Then I will take my fluff. I'm really loving this It Complexion blush brush. And I'm going to just blend it out. Just a little highlight. Oh, it's really bright out. <laughs> I use window lighting. Okay, so we did the contour. Now I am going to go on to the foundations. And I'm mixing them together. I'm going like a so. And I'm going in. So I am going to start. This powder, as I said, it just reminds me so much of a Bare Minerals and a Laura Geller. It's just like butter. So you and it's a light dusting. So it's you can build it for full coverage. I don't like full, full, full coverage. I like to be able to see a little bit of my skin underneath, <laughs> just a little. They suggest that you blend it for 30 seconds, going lighter around your nose and in the creases. Well, I think it's it's just, it's satin, satin smooth. Do I love it? Yes, I do. All right, now I'm gonna go in with the powder and I'm gonna take the pinky my Angie 507 brush, I'm going to dip it, dip it in the pink. Ooh, look at that. And I'm going to go like so. Oh, yar. Yeah, I like subtle. So you can do a no, no makeup look with this, or you can do full coverage. It's lovely, ladies, and it's all in one place. Applying the contour first and then the foundation might might possibly rub it off so I take what's so I'll take what's left on my BK and just go back to give me a little more definition in the in the hollows of my cheek all right now we're gonna get to the fun stuff here <laughs> that all was fun we're gonna get to the eye there's a base define line and shimmer I'm gonna take a brush like this this, this is what they were suggest for the all over. We're going to go into the base and we're going to go like that. Just a very light, subtle. I don't have any creasing. Yeah. Just a brush for my crease and what I'm going to do for the crease is I'm going to add the contour. A lot of influencers use contour or bronzer for eyeshadow. Be my first time. Here we go. So I'm going to do my windshield wiper. Just work it in. That's very pretty. I really like that. I really like using that contour. I have to tell you though too, I like my own concealer that I have been using. This one by Revlon for under eye concealer. So I probably wouldn't use theirs in the future because it's kind of, at least out here, it's kind of pilling. And I look forward, go out my real estate. Okay. And then you can take a lighter of the contour and go up here. Yeah. Ooh, I like that. Yes, I do. Yes, I do, ladies. Okay. Now, here's where the fun brushes come in. <laughs> I got these unique looking brushes from Whoosh. There's this V. I don't know if you can see it very well. And on the other end is a slanted brush like a so for supposedly blending, but I'm not sure on that. So what I'm going to do with this one, these, this color, the definer, and you press it. And then, got to zoom in here, you do a V. Okay, can you see the V? It takes a little practice. All right, and then you do it on the other side where you want, and I like mine to go up more. You can put them up here as well to make more of a dramatic smoky eye. 
I'm going to use the same brush that I used to apply the contour, and I'm going to blend. So, as I said, this one is going to take a little bit of practice for me to get correct, because I want mine to go up like that. I think I did pretty good here. And just kind of pull mine up. I don't know. It helps me with placement, but with practice, what brushes you have may work just perfectly. Blending is important. Keeping track of your blending brushes is even more important. To blend it. All right, now, the other fun brush I got. This is called the Art Brush. It's in a C, and then it has this on the end. Now, what the C brush is for is you dip it in the line. We're going to define our eyes. So I'm going to dip it in the line, which is black. I'm going to go at a C and go right like this. See? And then I'll blend that in, and then you turn it over, and you go along. You stamp it. They're basically stamps, okay? And then you take the other end and blend. This one I think is really fun. I really like it. Got it. I'll do cleanup. And they have little tutorials on this. I'm gonna go right like this. Yeep! And then over here. This one got a little bit out of control there. Clean up. Clean up on aisle five, Lala. All right, and so you just soften it. My little tiny flat concealer and put it in the light again. And just go into my corner, yeah. To clean it up. Looks like I got the line a little bit too high, but all of it's fixable, ladies. It's always fun to try something new, new techniques. Lid, I am gonna do the little shimmer right there. And I'm gonna use my thinner. And I'm going right here. Ooh, pretty. And in the inner corner. Oh, okay. Yeah. These two brushes are fun. Are they necessary? For $29 each, it's it's pretty high priced. This brush, I definitely love. The C, because it's good for cut crease, it's good for making yourself a wing and lining your eyes. I think it's fabulous, so I this one is a keeper. Okay, ladies, here's the finished look. I am absolutely impressed and in love with this palette. Now, if you have really dry skin, this is primarily powder. It might not work for you, but if your skin is, you prep your skin, you are hydrated, this is the palette for you because it just blends in like butter. No, I'm not being sponsored. I just ordered their makeup bag, which is $30, which holds the palette. Looks like it has places for uh, mascara and lipstick and possibly brows and then brushes. And you probably could slip in another palette of another eyeshadow, small eyeshadow palette. You know, I, I, I think it's really doable. Now, and then they offer this thing called the Jet Setter. This is a full package. It's regularly $194. It's on sale now for $139. But you get the, the makeup bag, as I said, was $30. And then the brushes are $85. So, and then the palette is $79. So you're getting a very good deal there. Now, an, another thing I want to let you know, it is offered on Amazon, just the palette itself, for $60. I'm looking for ease. I'm looking for compact. I'm looking for getting out the door as quick as possible. And this is beautiful. Now, coming next, I am going to try the Jerome Alexander Stackable. Same concept. And it doesn't have contour, but it has lipstick. So, I love you so much. Thank you for being here and see you again soon. Lala out.